There are lots and lots and lots of little niches where plenty of people can feed, um, and these are yet to be found in a lot of cases. But, but it's obvious that you know, the, the prize here isn't just who can make a big and powerful quantum computer. I want to just give a little context about what Google is doing. Uh, we are building a superconducting-based uh, quantum computer. It's a universal computer, which is slightly different from an analog computer. Building our first commercial applications. The quantum developer is a hero, and we are all just supporting actors. And serving them should be our North Star. And if we leave this conference with that common purpose, the human race will leap into the quantum future. In recent years, this has really shifted. And I think Microsoft's played a big role in this, as has Google and a few others, to as hardware has got like much better to the point where we're, we're now actually, you know, talking about building really interesting devices. We've focused a bit more on near-term applications. Most people in industry don't really care about quantum. They care about performance increase, and this field has been motivating performance increases. One really big thing is going to happen and is happening right now. And it addresses the question that everybody always asks, which is the key question. It's not how does it work, it's not how do you build it, it's not which physical system, it's what are we going to do with it that's valuable for a business. What we learned from this project is that there's really a lot of, uh, there's an active community base out there that's really ready and able to use quantum computing. Fundamentally, this is one of the best definitions I can think of of disruptive technology. As is true of any disruptive technology, it's by definition, it's impossible to understand where the first applications are going to be. I love things like this because we're at the point where there are going to be lots of ideas and let's try things and try this, you know, one architecture or another. And in the end, there will be probably several winners and it'll probably take several years to get there. Who would have said that we would be here with real industry serious investors interested in this? This is fantastic. We'll ask the question about who is having trouble raising funding, there's no one who's gonna say that because they're not gonna have a startup. They're still gonna be a researcher at their laboratory or someone aspiring to start a company in the space. <laughs>